In this video, we're going to take a look at a measure of center called the mean. There are several words that technically mean average. The mean is one, si one such type of average. The mean is the average we would get if all the items were the same or spread out evenly. And the way we calculate this value is we add the values and divide by how many values there are. This is probably what people think of normally when we hear the word average is the mean. So let's take a look at calculating the mean of several numbers. Here we have a list of numbers. To calculate the mean or average or measure of center of these numbers, we'll add them all together. 5 plus 8 plus 6 plus 7 plus 9 plus 4 plus 8 plus 10. And then we will divide that value by how many numbers there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We'll divide by 8. We'll use a calculator to make the addition a bit easier to add these numbers together. When we add up these numbers, we get 57. Be very careful on your calculators to add the numbers first and get the total by he hitting equals before you'd hit the divide by 8 in a separate step. When we do the 57 divided by 8, we get the number 7.125 which is our average or mean of this data set. 7.125 is a good measure of the center of approximately where this data falls around. Let's try another example where we're asked to find the mean of several numbers. Here we have a larger list of numbers, but the process is the same. We'll do 23 plus 26 plus 27 plus 21 plus 26 plus 22, plus 73, plus 24, plus 23, and then divide that by how many numbers we have. Counting them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, we're dividing by 9. We'll probably want to do the addition on our calculator. 23 plus 26 plus 27 plus 21 plus 26 plus 22 plus 73, plus 24, plus 23. And when we add those all up, we get a total of 265, which needs to be divided by 9 to give us our average or measure of center of these numbers. When we divide by 9, we get 29.44. We'll just round it to the hundredth place. What's interesting about this average or mean is 29.4 is higher than 23, higher than 26, higher than 27, higher than 21, higher than 26, higher than 22, higher than 24, and higher than 23. It's higher than all of the values except for one because that one value is actually not really close to the others. It turns out that when we have one or two values that are way out there, far from the other values, it kind of throws the mean off. 29 is not a real good middle number when we have just one weird number. So there might be a different type of average that might be better to use than the mean for this set of data. But we'll look at that in a different video. For now, to calculate the mean, or the average when everything is spread out the same or evenly, what we do is add up all the values and then divide by how many values we're working with. 